Good to see you again, Loader Parts Source customers. I'm talking about charge pressure today. Uh, charge pressure is a huge clue when you're troubleshooting any hydrostatic function on any machine. We're talking specifically about skid steer loaders. This applies to your lawnmowers, your bulldozers, anything else as well. The reason why charge pressure matters is you have a closed drive loop between your drive pump and your drive motor. And if your drive pump is weak or if your drive motor is weak, the oil that's internally leaking off is being replaced by the charge circuit. Well, now the charge circuit doesn't have as much oil in it and the charge pressure is lower. So it's very important for us to know what conditions cause the charge pressure to drop because that tells us which component may be leaking. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of where to hook into your charge pressure circuit. We have a Bobcat here, we got a case next door. I'll show you on both of those. The stuff I'll show you will get you covered on 90% of the machines. I wish I could do better, but there's just too many variations to show you everything. So starting uh, on the machine we have here, your drive pump is in here. The gear pump is on the back here. This is a two-section gear pump. You'll see two hoses coming off of the back. On this machine, that one hose is, comes right off of the rear section of the <coughs> gear pump. It's dedicated to supply charge pressure, and it feeds right into the back of the drive pump. Other machines might just have a single pump, and if that's the case, the return line from their control valve right here goes through the oil cooler and back from the oil cooler to a, a filter. And if you had a, just a single section gear pump on this machine, you'd see this return flow having a high pressure hose rather than just hose clamps. It'd have crimped fittings and this hose would be going to the drive pump. Those are two different ways you can get a quick clue on where you might find charge pressure. Uh, there's usually a sending unit that you can pull out and put a gauge in, but this is your hydraulic return. All that does is tell you if your filter's plugged. That's not helpful. On this machine, it's a T300 Bobcat. A lot of other S and T series Bobcats are going to be identical. You'll see this hose going back there underneath the drive pump and it connects where that charge line goes in and the reason why is they're using charge pressure to run into the auxiliary valve and the brake release and some safety features this is your charge pressure switch right here <coughs> so if you t in here just disconnect this t our gauge into here that'll get you a good charge pressure reading uh, some machines that have the have the higher pressure hose here they're going to be reading the charge pressure in this location and you can tee into that really easy. Pumps have places to tee into but they're hard to define and they're even harder to access. So on the case we'll show you on the pump and if you have a bobcat or a cat or something else with a similar pump you can use that information here. Okay, uh, sorry that's the best I can describe where to tie into your charge pressure. Uh, if you have questions, you'll have to call our techs and we'll help you guide you to it on your machine.